Diphenhydramine, also known as simply sleep, is an antihistamine that can help relieve symptoms of allergies, hay fever, and the common cold. It can also help prevent and treat nausea, vomiting, and dizziness caused by motion sickness. Additionally, it can be used to help you relax and fall asleep. This medication works by blocking certain natural substances in your body that cause allergic reactions and cold symptoms. It's important to note that cough and cold products containing diphenhydramine are not recommended for children younger than 6 years old, and some long-acting tablets slash capsules are not recommended for children younger than 12 years old. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist for more details about using this product safely. Remember, these products do not cure the common cold and may cause serious side effects if not used properly. Be sure to follow all dosage directions carefully and avoid giving this product to make a child sleepy. Lastly, do not give other cough and cold medications that contain the same or similar ingredients without consulting with a doctor or pharmacist. Make sure to follow the directions on the product package or as prescribed by your doctor. You can take the tablet, capsule, or liquid form with or without food. If you're using the liquid form, be sure to use a special measuring device to get the correct dose. If you have a single dose form, you don't need to measure the dose. If you're using the rapidly dissolving tablet or strip, let it dissolve on your tongue and then swallow. The chewable tablets should be thoroughly chewed before swallowing. The dosage will depend on your age, medical condition, and how you respond to the treatment. There are many different brands and forms of diphenhydramine available, so be sure to read the dosing instructions carefully for each product. Do not take more than directed. If you're taking it for motion sickness, take it 30 minutes before starting the activity. If you're taking it to help you sleep, take it about 30 minutes before bedtime. If you still have trouble sleeping after two weeks, make sure to contact your doctor. Let your doctor know if your condition doesn't improve or if it gets worse. Some common side effects of simply sleep include drowsiness, dizziness, constipation, stomach upset, blurred vision, or dry mouth slash nose slash throat. If you experience dry mouth, you can try sucking on sugarless hard candy or ice chips, chewing sugarless gum, drinking water, or using a saliva substitute. It's important to note that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they have determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's crucial to contact your doctor immediately if you experience any serious side effects, such as mental-slash-mood changes, difficulty urinating, fast-slash-irregular heartbeat, or seizures. While very serious allergic reactions to this drug are rare, seek medical help right away if you notice symptoms such as rash, itching-slash-swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. Remember, this is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice any other effects not mentioned, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Before taking Simply Sleep, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have, as this product may contain ingredients that can cause allergic reactions. It's also important to discuss your medical history, especially if you have any breathing problems, high eye pressure, heart problems, high blood pressure, liver disease, seizures, stomach-slash-intestine problems, overactive thyroid, or difficulty urinating. Simply sleep may cause dizziness, drowsiness, or blurred vision, especially when combined with alcohol or marijuana. It's advised to avoid driving or using machinery until you can do so safely, and to avoid alcoholic beverages. If you are using marijuana, it's important to talk to your doctor. If you are using liquid products, chewable tablets, or dissolving tablets slash strips, it's important to be aware that they may contain sugar, aspartame, or alcohol. It's advised to speak with your doctor or pharmacist if you have diabetes, liver disease, phenylketonuria, PKU, or any other condition that requires you to limit or avoid these substances in your diet. Children may be more sensitive to the side effects of simply sleep, and it can often cause excitement in young children instead of drowsiness. Older adults may also be more sensitive to the side effects, especially drowsiness, dizziness, confusion, constipation, or trouble urinating, which can increase the risk of falling. If you are pregnant, it's important to use this medication only when clearly needed and to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. Simply sleep can pass into breast milk and may have undesirable effects on a nursing infant, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding.
It's important to be aware of any potential drug interactions that could affect how simply sleep works or increase your risk for serious side effects. Be sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription slash non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Products that may interact with Simply Sleep include antihistamines applied to the skin, such as diphenhydramine cream, ointment, or spray. If you are taking other products that cause drowsiness, such as opioid pain or cough relievers, alcohol, marijuana, drugs for sleep or anxiety, muscle relaxants, or other antihistamines, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist. Check the labels on all your medicines, such as allergy or cough and cold products, because they may contain ingredients that cause drowsiness. It's also important to note that simply sleep may interfere with certain lab tests, potentially causing false test results. Make sure lab personnel and all your doctors are aware that you are using this medication. If someone has taken too much Simply Sleep and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to call 911 immediately. Otherwise, contact a poison control center right away. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents can reach out to a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include severe drowsiness, seizures, and dilated pupils. In children, there may be changes in mental state or mood, such as restlessness, irritability, or hallucinations, before drowsiness sets in. It's important to seek immediate medical help if you suspect an overdose. Make sure to attend all your scheduled medical and laboratory appointments. This will help your healthcare provider monitor your progress and make any necessary adjustments to your treatment plan. If you forget to take a dose of Simply Sleep, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next dose at the usual time. Don't take double the dose to make up for the missed one. Make sure to store Simply Sleep at room temperature and away from moisture and light. It's important to avoid storing it in the bathroom and to not freeze the liquid forms of this medication. And of course, always keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to disposing of Simply Sleep, never flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Instead, make sure to properly discard the product when it's expired or no longer needed. If you're unsure about how to do this, be sure to consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.